Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about constructor in Python. So in the previous class I have discussed about class and object. Okay, so while using classes uh, it is uh, very important to know about a constructor. So constructor is a special method. So constructor is a special, special method. Method and function both are same. So constructor is a function which is used to initialize the variables of the class. Okay. So the constructor is a function which is used to initialize the variables of the class. The following are the characteristics of constructor. So normally constructor is a function which is used to initialize the variables whenever the object is created. For example, we all know class. Class contain variables and methods. Yes. So class contain variables and methods. So this is one variable. For suppose def function is means sum and it contains a comma b. Okay. For suppose. So here a comma b are two construct. Uh, a comma b are two variables. So a is equals to a or x is equals to a, y is equals to b. So what is the use of constructor? Constructor is a method which is, which is used to initialize the variables. So which is used to initialize the variables whenever the object is created. Okay. So whenever the object is created, the variables are initialized. What is meant by initialize? Initialize is nothing but storing values into a variables. Okay. So while using the constructor, you need to remember the characteristics. The name of the constructor should be init. So confirm compulsory the name of the constructor should be underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Okay. And it contains one parameter that is self. Okay. So what is the importance of self? Self is used to point the recently created object. The current object is pointed by self. Okay. Self is used to point current object. Okay. So which is called an object is created. So whenever the object is created, the method is called. Okay. So what is the function of this method? It is used to initialize the values. Okay. So let's see here class student. Student is a class name. Okay. So Inside this, it contains one method. That method is constructor. Why we are calling constructor? So constructor name must be underscore in it underscore underscore. Yes. And it must contain one parameter that is self. Okay. So inside it contains body of the constructor, body of the method. Okay. So when this method is called, whenever the object is created, the method is called. Okay. The constructor may or may not have uh, parameters. Constructor may or may not have parameters. But it contains self parameter. Compulsory it contains self parameter. The constructor is classified into two types. One is default constructor and another one is parameterized constructor. Okay. So what is meant by default constructor? When the constructor does not have any arguments. Okay, so the constructor does not contain any arguments is known as default constructor. Okay, so it likes first argument as reference to the instance being constructed as known as self, but it contains self. Okay, so self is used to point current object. So class student, student is a class and it say it, it contains def underscore underscore init underscore underscore. So this is one constructor, but it does not contain any parameters. So that's why it is known as default constructor. The default constructors can only be executed automatically when we create an object. So when we create an object, this will automatically execute it. Okay. So next one is the constructor with parameters. The constructor with parameters are known, are known as parameterizer constructor so whatever the constructor does contain that contain parameters that is known as parameterized constructor okay 
the default constructors can only be executed automatically when we create the object and rest of parameters are provided by the programmer okay so let's see the example class student student is a class name inside class it contain def in it self x y z so here it contains three parameters so that's why it is known as parameterizer constructor so the constructor which contains parameters known as parameterizer which does not contain any parameters then it is known as default constructor okay so let's see here the parameter uh, the parameterizer constructor is only be executed when we pass parameters at the time of creating object okay so what is the syntax for creating object object name is equals to class name yes so class name is a student s is a object user defined object name and at the at the time of creating object you need to pass the parameters to constructor because it contains parameterizer constructor those are those variables are x comma y comma z so you need to pass values to this parameter so that's why at the time of creating object so i already said that so parameters are called okay so parameters are parameters are called or constructors are called when an object is created so at the time of creating object you need to pass the parameters so 10 raj 50000 10 is stored in x raj is stored in y and 50000 is stored in z so what is the use of self self is used to point current object okay so in this way we pass the parameters to constructor okay so let's see one example for a better understanding so this is the default constructor okay so here class employee okay class employee is a class name and inside class it contains one constructor okay so here it is known as default constructor because it does not contain any variables parameters okay so next i am taking three variables e number e name e salary okay so why we are using self self is used to point current object so that's why self dot e number self dot e name self dot e salary so in self dot e number i'm storing 100 in self not e name i'm storing raj in self dot e salary i'm storing 50000 okay so this is the constructor so what is the use of constructor constructor is initialized whenever the object is created so first we are creating one object that is e e is a object for employee class okay employee is a class so for object creation the syntax is object name is equals to class name object name is e class name is employee so whenever the object is created the constructor values are initialized so 100 is stored in e number raj is stored in e name 50000 is stored e salary okay that is the importance of constructor so constructor is initialized whenever the objects is created so here the object is created so that's why the values are initialized okay the variables are initialized with values okay so after that next we are calling display function by using the object object is e and i am calling display function then uh, calling is done so the display function contains employee number is self dot e number so what self dot e number contain 100 so employee number is 100 employee name is self dot e name self dot e name contains raj employee name raj employee salary self dot e salary it contain 15000 so that will be displayed this is known as parameter uh, default constructor so in the same way we can use parameterizer constructor let's see here this is parameterizer constructor okay so first we are creating one object so e is equals to employee so we are creating object for employee class so whenever the object is created 
the values are initialized okay so here we are passing parameters the values are 1100 ramu 20000 so 1100 is stored in x next ramu is stored in y and next 20000 is stored in z so these are known as positional arguments based on position the values are assigned to variables so next so whatever in x that will be stored in e number whatever in y that will be stored in e name whatever in z that will be stored in e salary okay so 1120 is stored in x ravi uh, sorry ramu is stored in y and 20000 is stored in z okay so next we are calling display function so e dot display okay display function is go so here employee number is self dot e number so sir in self dot e number it contains 1100 next i am displaying employee name it it is there in self dot e name so it, the name is ramu after that self dot e salary so the salary is 20000 okay so this is the output after that i am creating one more object e1 for the same class employee but now i am passing different parameters so whenever the object is created the values are initialized now x contain 1120 y contain ravi and z contain 30000 so whatever the x in x value is stored in e number y value is stored in e name z value is stored in e salary so after that i am calling display function now it displays employee number is self dot e number self dot e number contain 1120 next name is ravi and salary is 30000 so in this way you can create any number of objects and apply all these methods and variables okay so what is a class class is a blueprint which contains variables and functions so these are the variables and this is a function okay so one blueprint one class is used for many objects so for object creation we use classes okay so this is all about importance of constructor so constructor main aim is used to initialize the variables whenever the object is created okay so whenever the object is created the constructor is used to initialize the variables so there are two types of constructors default constructor and parameterized constructor the default constructor does not contain any parameters the parameterized constructor contain parameters okay so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you